Hi everyone. Uh, some time ago I did a video demonstrating voice attack with uh, the Vicom Pro add-on. Uh, unfortunately in that video you couldn't really hear what I said as I was speaking a little too low. So I thought I'd make a new video. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into our aircraft and uh, do a demonstration. Okay, now we're in our Hornet. Uh, so let's demonstrate uh, Vicom Pro. Uh, I've selected my wingman for Radio 1. So all I need to do is hit the communication key and actually talk directly to him. Like this. Two. Radio check. Those two beeps you heard is uh, voice attack registering the command and sending it to DCS. Uh, that can be disabled in the uh, Vicom Pro option menu. Uh, let's say I wanted to land on uh, Inserlik instead. Inserlik. Inbound. Or, for example, let's say... Uh, we want to talk to the AWACS aircraft. Dark Star, request picture. Springfield one one, Dark Star one one, clean. Or let's say you're you were running out of fuel and uh, need to hook up with a tanker. Texaco, request rejoin. And uh, that's how Vicom Pro works. <coughs> you just need to uh, hit the communication key, make sure the radio channel is set correctly, and just speak to the one you want to talk to. No, uh, what's it called? No menus, no text on screen. It's a lot more immersive. So let's uh, jump into the other aircraft I have here, the F 14. Okay. Now that we're in our time cat, uh, let's see if we can start this up. Jester, start up. Uh, there's no external air and power. Okay. Chief, ground power on. Copy. Ground power is now on. Connect air supply. Okay, let's try it again. Jester, start up. Run that. ICS com check. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay. And, uh, that's how a voice attack works. Uh, with uh, the Tomcats, you can actually speak directly to Jester. You have an armed your ejection seat, buddy. I'm not going to. And well, um, that's it. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>